Now, Stormwatch 12 weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman. In between the areas of rain, it wasn't too bad to get outside. Take a look at this beautiful shot of Middle McLeod Falls. Road Shots Photography taking uh, this photo. Lots of great fall color out there as well, especially west of the Cascades, seeing peak fall color in the Rogue Valley. Uh, but tomorrow we will be dodging more raindrops as we go throughout the day. We do have some wet weather out there tonight, some rain and higher elevation snow in a Modoc and southern portions of Lake County. Also starting to see shower activity picking up on the west side, especially into portions of Curry and Josephine County. Uh, some of the mountains of the coastal mountains have seen rainfall amounts already up over two inches and there is some more wet weather on the way. You can see more of these clouds off to the west. Uh, these showers will all be working their way through overnight and then into tomorrow. Current temperatures 52 in Grants Pass. We're down to 49 in Medford as well as Montague. It's 39 in Lakeview and 30 Eight degrees in Klamath Falls, sitting at 51 currently in Brookings. Tonight, we'll see showers uh, really likely along and west of the Cascades. Snow up at Crater Lake. We will see things winding down a bit on the east side, but then look for more showers to pick up as we head into tomorrow. Widely scattered rain and higher elevation snow showers for our Monday. Cool temperatures only in the 40s and 50s for most spots and only a high of 30 up at Crater Lake, where we do expect several inches of snow to fall through tomorrow and tomorrow night. Rainfall forecast, this is additional rain tonight through Tuesday morning. Uh, most areas along and west, to ca uh, west of the Cascades seeing the higher precipitation amounts, maybe upwards of a quarter of an inch to as much as a three quarters of an inch to an inch for parts of the coast, coastal mountains and the Cascades. But in Siskiyou County, the east side amounts will be a little bit lighter than that. Uh, Southern Oregon, as far as snow levels concerned, uh, dropping to about 4,500 feet tomorrow morning and kind of staying in that 4,500 to 5,000 foot range before falling to 4,000 feet as this system wraps up Tuesday morning. So most of the accumulating snow above 4,500 feet. Some of our east side passes uh, seeing a dusting up to an inch or two, one to three inches for Diamond Lake and Lake of the Woods. But Crater Lake, we could see up to six inches of snow or so. And then the Rogue Valley, just looking at plain rain tomorrow. Showers on and off throughout the day. We'll see a lull in the action on Tuesday. Uh, we'll dry things out, but then more wet weather on the way Wednesday. We have another storm system we're tracking closely. But in the meantime, as we head into tomorrow, you can see the scattered rain, higher elevation snow showers throughout the day. Breaks of sun, though, in the mix as well. And then as we head into Tuesday, we get a break in the action. Showers will wrap up. We'll see a bit more sunshine as well. Temperature is still on the cooler side, but then here comes the next system. Clouds quickly fill in and rain, higher elevation snow moving in for Wednesday. And we'll get another big surge of moisture right into Halloween. Temperatures even chillier and snow levels will be a bit lower as well. We'll see some gusty winds, so not looking like the best trick or treating weather here uh, this year. We'll of course keep you posted closely on that next system Wednesday into Thursday. Could see a bigger travel impact, especially in higher elevations due to snow. For the coast, though, we have showers into your Monday and then some heavier rain possible on Wednesday with that next system. Windy conditions as well. Northern California rain, high elevation snow showers tomorrow. Brighter skies on Tuesday. Temperatures only in the lower 50s for highs. The basin will see some rain, high elevation snow showers Monday. More wet and even wintry weather, especially into Halloween for the mountains. We'll have to keep an eye on those passes Wednesday and especially into Thursday as those snow levels start to come down and some of that snow could be a bit on the heavier side as well. For the Rogue Valley, just looking at some on and off showers tomorrow, a bit of a break Tuesday, but rainy weather on Wednesday and another surge of rain on Thursday for Halloween. Some lingering showers on Friday and then we look to get uh, some quieter weather as we fall back next weekend.